Hi everybody. Say hi. Hi guys. We are we have our own house now. Well, we're renting a house. It's not ours. And we've been in it for one week. Yeah, one week. Yeah, today makes today makes one week. Are we both in the picture? I can't tell cuz I can't see it. And we wanted to show you guys our house. We have we're settled in enough uh, that we can live in the house, but we still have a few things that we're fixing up and we're cha changing And if you guys have been wondering why it has been so long since I put up a YouTube video It's because I've been busy with my wedding and honeymoon and um, So I've been busy with that. I've been getting married to this amazing man So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel give it a like and to share All right, and we're gonna start with William, you can go ahead and open up the gate. Oh, it's, it's already open. <laughs> it is already open. <laughs> so with our house, we have, there's a gate here. I'm going to try and describe it as much as I can for my blind followers as well. And inside the gate, there's a step up and the, there's a handle on the inside. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how well I do with a phone. I don't have my camera. Um, and then it's not locked now, but when William goes to work, we're going to put a lock on the, on the gate. So we have the gated area, which there is a balcony area. Um, I would say moving forward, it's maybe, maybe 12 feet by six feet, a rectangular space. I know that there is a gate that goes to the there's a bit of a walk alleyway around the entire house, or to the back of our kitchen, and a window. And then we have this front entrance. So this front entrance, it also has a lock. Here is something uh, funny um, that I didn't think about. If you look closely, there's actually a latch here that does up. And so I was feeling the gate one day as we were getting ready to go somewhere and I said to William, I go, why are you putting the lock down on the, down here? Why aren't you putting it in here? And he pointed out that the piece that moves back and forth for the latch, um, it's only welded on. So it can easily be, like if you had a hammer or a crowbar or something, it can easily be broken off. So my very smart and protective husband, I love saying that, my husband. <laughs> You're welcome. Finally, husband and, and wife. I love it. Um, but anyways, he pointed out that that can easily be broken. And uh, so that is, that's a white person mistake. When you move to a country like the Philippines or something, like to me, this is where the lock is supposed to go. So that's where you would put the lock. And because he lives here, he's like, <laughs> no. So anyways, I have a copy of my own key. You get to be camera bad. And I apologize for my voice, guys. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me, if it's a cold, or what it is. Um, William is catching it too because he has the sniffles. Except he says he's fine. So, all right. And welcome into our home. So, normally when we're out, we have the gate, we also have the glass sliding doors. Me. See what I mean? Catching something. Who knew you can get the same cold in the Philippines as you can in Canada? <laughs> All right, and thank you, love. <laughs> oh dear. Miss you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And William. So once we're inside, I'm gonna back up so you can hopefully. We put the lock on the inside on. Here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay. And do you want to give a bit of a, a tour? Okay. <laughs> I met with the camera. He's shy about being on the camera, guys. No, I'm holding the camera. You do the tour. You do the tour. It's this is our balcony, our living room. This is going to be our front entrance room. Front entrance. Yeah, front entrance room. And the cool thing in the Philippines is 
they have these places called mini stores. And you explain what a mini store is. Mini store like uh, they have uh, groceries inside. Uh, you buy um, like um, coffee, soap, and um, ingredients like onions, garlic, and yeah, they have many things you mm -hmm. buy in a mini store. Mm -hmm. So their mini store over here is almost exactly the same as our convenience stores, except I think they have, um, like you'll, you'll have more options for things. And so that's what we're going to do with this front of the room. And over here, you don't have to have like a permit, permit or a license or anything to do this out of your house. And the reason we can do this is if you come over here to this window, You'll see, I have to remember that I have to hold the phone back so you can actually see what I'm doing. It opens and there's bars out here. So it's very secure. We are going to get a guard dog, by the way. Uh, but it's very secure. And uh, so people, they come up to the window and they say, Tile pole. Tile pole. Tile pole. That means uh, anybody. Anybody home? Mm -hmm. Tile pole. And then there's another sentence which I cannot remember asking I would like to buy. Pabile. Pabile. I'm not very good at the Tagalog. Pabile. Um, and so they'll come up and then they'll say, they'll come up to the window. Oh, I didn't know this side opened. No, I did. Yes. Oh, wait, it's the other window that doesn't open. I can't remember. But anyways, so um, what I'm planning on doing is over here in the corner, I'm going to put a ceiling, ceiling to floor shelf, and then I want to put a shelf along the bottom, another ceiling to floor shelf along there, and that's going to be where we keep everything for the mini store. And then William also is going to be doing, he sells fish, he does a fish, or he's going to start his own business, so quite the... Quite the achievement. It's really hard to start your own business. Um, I know because I've tried a couple of times with different things and so he is going to start his own fish selling business and he's going to elaborate and not sell just fish, he's going to sell other things as well. So in the corner of the room over here we want to put a freezer so that he can put the fish in the freezer. That way he doesn't have to go every morning all the way over to, I can't remember where, and, and by fish all the time, he'll have his own supply here. And I also want to set up, I have to move because I'll forget which, I forget which area I'm in. Right here. And I want you in the picture with me. And over here, we're going to put a washing station so that when vegetables, when we go to the market and we buy vegetables, and we're gonna have to do videos on the stores and the markets because some things are the same as home and then some things are so different so different like i mean really different <laughs> uh but we're gonna set up a washing station so we can wash everything that comes in the house um because i get sick really easily and everything needs to be really clean and my amazing over here they have a word for diligent or hard working and it means masipak and i say that william is my masipak man because the other day, I was really not feeling well. I was, um, like, I, I should have been resting, and I did. William had me go rest, and he did a lot to clean the house. He cleaned, he cleaned everything. He cleaned everything from top to bottom. He's a very good cleaner, very thorough at cleaning. Yeah. All right, and then over here, this will be our living room, and uh, we don't have curtains up yet. We did buy curtains. We bought curtains, and William found curtain rods when we were, here, I'll let you, you grab the phone in. Uh, he did find curtain rods when we were, clean, or when he was cleaning, and uh, he washed them all off, so we just have to put them up, uh, but we did buy um, blue curtains. So this is going to be our living area, and I really would like our living area to have eventually two pull-up couches because I know my family will come and visit me sometime in the future and possibly some um, 
like my aunt probably will come and visit. So I want two pull out couches that way it just makes it, you know, you can use the couches and then when people stay over, they can stay over. But this place is huge. It's bigger than I was expecting. And so this is the living room area. And then over here in a combined room, we are going to have our dining room. We still do not have a fridge, freezer, or oven yet, which is too bad because today is October 10, and I wanted to celebrate Thanksgiving on October 11, but um, uh, I don't have an oven to cook a turkey or a chicken. <laughs> so no Thanksgiving this year, or I don't know, maybe we can still figure it out. We'll just do it at the end of the month. Um, but I'm planning on having a dining room table in here, um, a fridge and an oven. And so what I've been doing right now, because we've been here for a week, and the Philippines is so different than Canada, it's actually, I think if you calculate it out, it's actually cheaper to go eat your food somewhere than it is to buy food, bring it home, and try to prepare it. Especially if you don't have a fridge, because I found out I'm used to a household of like six people. So, you know, I look at prices, not necessarily amounts. So I'll buy something and I'll be like, oh, okay, this is a good deal, I'll buy this. And then I get it home and we only have, we've only used like a half of it or a third of it and we have no fridge. Um, so I've been doing a lot of my cooking with um, our steamer. We have a steamer and we have an electric kettle. And so right now there are boiled eggs in here or guest steamed eggs, but the same as hard boiled. We had um, eggs, and last night I made lazy mac and cheese. I made where I got elbow noodles and mixed it with cheese whiz. And it was actually the first time William had mac and cheese. So, oh, here's a fun thing for you. Salad over here, when you say salad, people think you're either talking about macaroni salad or um, kind of like a jello fruit salad. Yeah, a jello salad or a fruit salad. I made William a lettuce salad for the first time the other day. What did you think of it, Bay? Did you like it? Yes, I like it. You like it? Would you eat it again? Yes. If you had two choices and you had like, you had macaroni salad and you had vegetable salad, would you pick vegetable salad again or no? Yes. You I would? Like oh, you're awesome. He won't tell you this, I'm a bad cook. Um, and this is our, like, this would be where I make food, but we have no tap in here right now. So you can see where the tap is supposed to be, but there is no tap. And we have some cupboards. And then this is where I've been actually, well, William's been doing a lot of work out here. But uh, when we made salad and doing food prep, this is where we were doing it. And it has it's a functioning sink out here, which is wonderful. Where are you? I'm here. Oh, okay. Um, so we have um, kind of like a kitchenette workstation. And I like this because if I was working on a bigger meal and I had people that were coming to dinner, I like this because then all the mess can be out here in this room so that when we're having dinner out in the dining room, you can't see it in our other kitchen. So there is um, this area. And then out here, this is where we have been washing the laundry. Normally, I can get the door open. Hey, babe. Oh, never mind. I got it. <laughs> and then out here, this is like a little bit of a walkway that goes along the back of the house and to the other side. And so this is where we've been washing our laundry. This is where I wash my hair. I'll show you the bathroom in a minute and you'll understand why I can't do my hair in the bathroom. Uh, but this is where I wash my hair. Um, I think you were washing dishes out here, right? Before yes, you were washing dishes out here before we got the sink fixed? Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. Because uh, the sink wasn't working in there, so we were, we were the dishes were being done out here. Like, the other time. And then we have this walkway. Now this walkway goes all the way down. I need to put a bell on you. You walk way too quiet. Uh, all the way down here. So I actually, this is my favorite spot outside of our house. I know this sounds really weird, but it's shaded, um, there's shade. 
So I don't know exactly if it has a roof or, or what it is that's up there, but it's shaded. So the sun is not on me and even when there seems to be no breeze anywhere, there seems to always be air moving here, so it's nice here. But anyway, so there's this, this walkway and it has a, a gate here. And of course we have the gate locked. And um, I know in the future, um, because I'm trying to figure out about a guard dog right now, um, because preferably I would like one of, of certain breed um, because I know that they make good guard dogs. And um, a lot of the dogs around here, like people say they're a big dog, but then when you hear them bark, they're not. Like when you say big dog to me, I'm thinking like German Shepherd, Rottweiler. Um, you guys can't see this right now, but as I'm talking and walking, William has grabbed my hand and is helping me because he does not want me to slip. It's wet out here because we have an air conditioner and it's wet where we do the laundry. And so he's always really sweet, always really caring, really helpful and protective. Um, but anyways, in the future, I know that if we have a guard dog, to keep it a guard dog, you don't want to run a lot of people. So if we have people over, this run this runway will probably be where we will keep the where we'll keep him. So, anyways, we have this area, and you saw the balcony out front. The balcony is nice. Oh wait, I forgot to show you something. So if you look over here, so there's like a a, a window kind of. Um, everything in the Philippines, like if you have a big area. It always has like a gate across it for safety um, but behind there is banana trees and the trees here are very very different than the trees back at home um, like when you live in an area that has cedars and pines when the wind blows through them it makes like a creaking sound here with the banana trees when the wind blows through them I'm not even joking it sounds like birds wings flapping I'm not joking I was out here yesterday doing laundry and I kept thinking that there was like these birds or something and it took me a few minutes before I finally realized that it was the leaves, the banana leaves, because when the wind would blow, then I would hear it. So it took me a few minutes, but for those who do, did not know, I hate birds. I don't like birds. I find them incredibly scary. Don't like them. All right. And again, I apologize for my voice coming down with something. I've had a, actually, it all started on Sunday, I had a cyst break and that triggered a series of seizures and then um, I just keep, seem to keep getting worse with things. Uh, so anyways, I told William this morning when he went to go get breakfast, I said that if I'm not better by tomorrow, we're going to the clinic or hospital because I don't want anything else happening. All right, so back in the dining room. This is our bathroom. We're in the process of, we're gonna get a door on it. Um, there's only the two of us here, so it's not like it's crucial if there's no door. Um, I keep teasing William about peeking at me when I'm using the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you gasp, you thought that was a secret. You didn't think I was gonna tell anybody. He does, he peeks at me when I'm in there. If I'm no. using the, you do too, don't lie. I, I'll have a towel here and he comes along and he'll talk to me like while I'm going to the bathroom while I'm having a shower He's like, I'm not looking and I'm like, yeah, okay, you're not looking. Anyways, we have to get a drawer on here You didn't think you guys don't know this, but he does blush um, Anyways, yesterday um, my wonderful husband and our neighbor um, Put uh, plumber's putty and fixed because this sink when you turned it on all the water ran out the bottom. There's pipes there, but there was a huge leak. So they fixed that yesterday. Um, our toilet, which the toilet seat does not stay on the toilet. So we just took the toilet seat off. And then we have a shower. So it has a top down here and it has no shower head. <laughs> so what I've been doing to clean, to bathe, is I have two buckets of water and um well now we have an electric kettle so if i want to i can warm up water but the water here it's not like in canada it's not going to be ice cold when you turn it on it's going to be slightly cooler than room temperature so it doesn't hurt to just have a shower out of the tap you don't have to really warm it up and uh, we have two i'll use two buckets of water 
and I'll wash with one bucket and then as it gets soapy and residue-y, um, then I rinse with the clean bucket of water. And uh, if you look at the floor, I'm not sure if you can see the floor, but where the shower is and the rest of our bathroom, there is no divider. So if someone has a shower in here or washes in here, the whole floor gets wet. So I bought these mats and um, I told William, every time he would get a shower, I would get, I would get frustrated because I'm like, I'm so tired of the bathroom being wet. So I was teasing him that he had to shower outside and he says to me, he goes, well, there's a hose outside. And I go, okay, well, fine, you can shower outside. And my poor William, so English is his third language. You're still learning English, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Poor William, to make me happy, he went and showered outside. I was joking. I felt so bad when I realized he did that. So this room, we're gonna turn this into an office and uh, we're just gonna do a quick, quick scan. Um, but if you look in here, over here on this wall, there's a window there that opens to that kitchen workspace that I told you about. And then there's a window back here that opens into the outside. And I kind of like that because um, all, the, all the buildings, they're, if you listen, they're not made with wood. They're made with like cement. So everything echoes really, really weird in here. So it's like there's been a few times that William has called me and I could not really tell where his voice was coming from because it's cement, not wood. I'm used to hearing wood. And uh, so I like the windows there because if you're doing something outside, you can just open it. This is our bedroom. Uh, so we, whoops, we moved in last week. Um, there was nothing here. Well, the air conditioner was left from, I'm not sure if it was the last tenants or the homeowner, but there's a really old air conditioner and it works pretty good actually. It does shut itself off. It shuts itself off and restarts itself. So you have to be mindful of that. And um, so last week we bought, this is a foam, uh, I'm not even sure what you'd call it because it's not really a mattress. It's just um, six inch of foam. And it was actually really cheap because to buy a mattress, how much was it for a mattress, do you remember? Was it? Uh, 14,000. Yeah, it was 14,000 pesos. Now, if you calculate that out to Canadian, in Canadian money, to Canadian mattresses, that's not that expensive. But if you have a Filipino income, that's expensive. That's very expensive. Uh, so we were able to get this foam. It's a six inch foam. And I was actually surprised because it's very firm. It's very comfortable. Um, it's more comfortable. I ended up swapping mattresses uh, a while ago at my old house with one of my brothers because he bought a new one and his mattress was newer than the one I had. And I felt that the mattress was very uncomfortable. And so we got this one and I was very surprised. It's very, very comfortable. So we have our foam, I call it a mattress, foam mattress. Um, we have cupboards, but we have to take the cupboards out. We have to redo the cupboards because uh, there were termites. This is why nothing is made out of wood here because um, there's problems with termites. So everything is either made out of cement or plastic or metal. Nothing seems to really be made out of wood. Like you have cupboards sometimes. Um, and in the office, there's a cupboard in there. And that one I didn't think was touched by termites, but this, these ones are. So I don't think there are termites still in here because I didn't, if there are, we're gonna name them Tim, Tom, Tiny, and uh, Timothy. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, there, are no, there are no termites up here. So I think we covered all of the house. Right? Did I forget anything, love? Did I forget anything, love? No. Anything you want to say? Thank you for uh, for listening and tell them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. For to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Tell them that it's about, Alec. Of our channel. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I said say it in Tagalog. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Tell them to become a member to the channel in Tagalog. I don't know what Tagalog <laughs> 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 I do that sometimes. I'm like, what's the Tagalog word for this? And he's like.
it's the same. But I'm like, oh. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching our channel. Um, I'm hoping for us to do a lot of uh, videos together in the future. And in our next one, we have a surprise about expanding our family. All right. Talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.